Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your reading. So um, I've got some interesting images that came out for you. And I feel like this month, um, there is a very strong paternal energy coming into the picture. Okay. Um, it could be maternal or paternal because once again, the energies are not gender specific, but I did see like a more fatherly type of a figure. Let me just relay the images that I saw and, you know, see how it fits into your life. Okay. So the first thing that I saw is, uh, there's this outdoor picnic scene and I see this man, he's probably in his forties and he's got a little boy next to him so that it looks like to me like it's his son so the boy is probably like you know five or six the man is peeling crawfish okay he's peeling like the tails of the crawfish he peels it and then he gives it to the little boy to eat so it looks like a summer's day outdoors in um, they're having a picnic and that's what he's doing and he's watching the little boy eat and there are a lot of crawfish just on a platter and he's happily you know peeling it so that he can feed it to the the kid and the kid is just having a grand old time because you know kids they they're not really aware of the people around them most children actually um are some of them are exceptionally just a very um some of them are can be you know a lot more self-aware or a lot more aware of their surrounding but this kid he's just immersed in the the process of eating that he's not aware that his dad is peeling all of this and doing all of these things and his dad is is probably hungry too but his dad is choosing to spend all of his time peeling the crawfish so that his son can get to eat okay um so that's what i mean by you know a very very strong paternal vibe um for many of you, I feel, especially if you have children, there's this paternal, maternal instinct really kicking up within you. It's almost like your children are your world, okay? And then I also feel like there's this really sweet energy about you wanting to bring your best, your 100%, your, your total uh, commitment to a situation, to the people that you really care about, being very selfless, making a lot of sacrifices in order to keep the people that you love, in order to take care of them, in order to feed them, in order to nourish them, and in order to make them really, really happy, okay? I don't feel like it's at, at your expense, or I don't feel like you're doing this, making, you know, um, huge sacrifices in a way, against your better judgment or you know against your will i feel like you're inspired to do something because you really love the people that are around you so that sounds really beautiful to me the second image that i saw i see this man he's uh, fly fishing in a river so he's got those uh boots on you know the the uh the plastic boots that you roll up all the way to um like your your thighs and then they have like suspenders so it's like um it looks almost like overalls so he's wading in the river and he's casting um his fishing line all the way downstream and then he reels it back in so he keeps doing this and then he realizes maybe i'll have more luck going up river to a more you know calmer environment where there are more shallow areas where there are more trees and then you know uh, cast my line there so you the next thing that i saw is uh, he's in a pond uh, sitting on the, the bank of the pond and he's casting his line near a tree like um, near the base of a tree where there's a, a lot of fish gathering and then he finally caught something okay and then the scene just sort of um clears up so what i'm feeling with that image is i feel like you might have felt like you were pushing against the tide in a specific situation and you almost felt like you were um kind of like going against the tide and you start to realize that it doesn't have to be like this it doesn't have to be this hard i can roll with the punches or i can find a different environment for me to be in that will you know be able to bring me what i need okay so i definitely see a, a mind shift i also feel as well 
a different strategy that you are taking and I also feel you know problem solving uh, things coming into the picture that will allow you to arrive at a better solution or a better way of doing things so with both of these images combined what I do feel coming into the picture is that this is a month where I definitely feel you are kind of like focusing your energy inwards okay um, narrowing down the social circle, narrowing down the, the circle in which you expend your energy. Uh, not working hard anymore, but rather working smart, okay? Minimizing the amount of energy wastage, as well as being a little bit more productive with the things that you're doing so that they yield the result that you're looking for. So I definitely feel having a better game plan, having a better, I want to say, strategy when it comes to doing things so this month itself i mean it's starting to look really really good already uh, based on the first three cards so let me get a few more and then we'll go into your reading i keep seeing that um you are bringing your best to a situation okay you're you're vowing to bring the best of yourself and I keep seeing like, you know, old ways of doing that have been outdated, that have been self-defeating, that have not yielded the results that you're looking for. You're taking a different approach. You're being a lot more definitely strategic with the ways in which you do things. And you're being a lot more careful about how you expend your energy and who you give your energy and your time towards. Okay, so it looks really good. I also have two queens in the picture here. I feel like for many of you, um, there might be a situation where you might have children with um, somebody, you know, from your past and you're working at this blended family thing, okay? And then I also feel there is a situation where you might be either like um, a single parent or you are in a position where there there are talks and discussions about custody between you and you know the father of your children or the mother of your children and i mainly see a lot of imagery here that might indicate to me like the mother of your children trying to work out custody issues custody arrangements trying to figure out you know uh, visitation rights trying to coordinate the time the day um, I feel like you know one parent might be traveling and then the other parent is um, sort of like let's switch up the routine a little bit because I'm not going to be here or you're not going to be here so we have to you know make make some changes to the child rearing or to the custody arrangement situation okay so <clears throat> let's talk about this and um, first off what I have here is the Queen of Swords, and I like to talk about the first card. This is an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I feel like for some of you, there might have been some very recent argument between you and this person, okay? Um, this is somebody who is not very comfortable with the emotional realm. Um, they can be a little bit harsh with their communication, okay? They're very, very no-nonsense. They are also not a, a warm, cuddly, touchy, feely type of a person. They're very realistic. And so I feel like there might have been um, creative differences, lack of agreement, lack of consensus, lack of cooperation, lack of overall mutual understanding um, that between you and this person. I feel like they have recently um, encountered some type of a situation in their life, either family issues that has really brought them down, okay? And um, it's linked up here with the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups indicates um, sadness, regret, uh, water under the bridge, too much has been said, and it's a situation where, you know, it's like pining over spilled milk, but with this card, it's almost like emotionally there might have been a, a very turbulent time with this person 
I'm also feeling for some of you, you might be transitioning and keep in mind the cards are not gender specific. Um, I feel almost like for some of you, this is the person that got away or this is the person that you feel, you know, once upon a time you had a really, really good um, positive either a friendship or a, a, a really good stable relationship with. But for whatever reason, there is some type of an emotional rift or an emotional estrangement between you and this person and things have changed the times have changed is what i'm feeling the seasons have changed and so you're trying to recreate the relationship and and trying to you know um build it back up to what it used to be but too much has been been done and too much has been said in this relationship or in this situation where it's really not possible to bring it back to what it was, okay? So it requires a lot more work and it requires a lot more, uh, I, I guess like, um, it requires like a concerted effort between you and this person and you almost feel like they're kind of leaving you out in the cold or you feel like you're the only one that wants to do this and that they're not contributing or they're not putting in their fair share of the work in order to make this situation the way that it used to be. So I feel like there might have been some recent arguments uh, between you and this person. It could be coming in the month of April where you just feel like you both are no longer on the same page, okay? On the other hand, there is new passion and new people coming into the picture. So some of you might be transitioning between two people. You might be transitioning between an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. In your past, transitioning into a new person, this is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, okay? so. The cards are not gender specific. This might be the new person that you might have recently been engaged to. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is pretty much, you know, making a solid offer, a solid gesture, wanting to build with a new person, wanting to create something like a very solid starting point for a foundation. And when I see the Pentacles suit, especially in this deck, it usually denotes to me a proposal, something very solid, something that you feel you can build upon. And it's lying on top of this fire sign. So I feel like some of you might be shifting gears, might have changed partner, might have um, made an offer to another person or have this other person making an offer to you. And as a result of it, I feel like I feel as if one person from your past was not emotionally available and you're finding somebody else that is a lot more nurturing, a lot more caring, a lot more in alignment to be more verbally expressive, to be a lot more emotionally and I also feel like um, it's almost like somebody who showers you with a lot of compliments, somebody who's very expressive with how they feel about you. And I feel like that's more in alignment with what you need versus the other person who could appear like this, where they're a little bit cold, they're a little bit, um, they're not as understanding and they can be a little bit harsh. So you are transitioning away from that into being with somebody who's a little bit warmer, who's a little bit more playful and who is a lot more in alignment you feel with your energy. So I don't see that there's any one person that is bad or, you know, another person that's better. I just feel like it's just a, the way the energy flows where we are naturally attracted to a specific type of a person. And I feel like, you know, I mentioned this before, a lot of cancers in general are, are quite shy. And I do see a deep sense of insecurity too. So you need somebody to draw it out of you. You need somebody to kind of like um, where you don't have to guess where you stand with them because they're always ready to tell you how they feel. They're always ready to express themselves and their energy is buoyant, is more lively, is more playful. And I feel like with that person, it draws out the best in you.
And so many of you are definitely learning and coming into a sense of what you want, what you need, and what you ultimately, you know, desire in order for you to be happy. You're becoming cognizant of it. You're definitely more aware of it. And you're seeking relationships and friendships that will, you know, give you that more buoyant type of energy. Okay. So I guess we are finally aware of what we need to be happy we're finally coming into this sense of what we need from a person a friend a family member or even a romantic partner in order to really nurture us emotionally and we're coming into this month uh, either you have already had this person that's making you aware of this or you are seeking people that are more in alignment with this fire energy they're passionate they're expressive and you don't have to you know play the guessing game with them and they will always make it known how they feel about you whereas in the past you might have had to do that guessing game with another person so i definitely feel in relationship there is a stabilizing of the energy between you and a partner you're definitely wanting to bring your best to a partner and you're definitely exhibiting more of that comfortable playful side so you're definitely with somebody that doesn't judge you because you know this energy it doesn't even have to be an air sign but this person is a little bit harsh and they're a little bit judgmental whereas this person is all love all giving all playful all bright and i feel like they're just very passionate and you know expressive and so you're making an offer here or it, the offer is being made to you for some of you there's a lot of talks about movement and travel okay so we have here the eight of wands and this is kind of like the arrows of love but in this deck i do feel it is a lot more about travel movement uh, making plans to do some type of a big trip okay this is like over airway so traveling by air coming to see another person for some of you you might have um, work new jobs coming into the picture going on interviews for job relocating for work even um, work travel so for those who travel for a living or who have to travel extensively as a part of their work i definitely feel this is indicative of um, you know needing to make travel arrangements um, for some of you who are in a relationship as well you and your significant other could be taking trips together you could uh, they could also be taking trips as well and then they might be you know temporarily just temporarily out of the picture so what I do feel is there's also really strong heavy uh, communication the Eight of Wands usually indicates communication in this day and age, communication coming in in a very swift manner. So that is usually text messages, emails, um, instant you know, messaging, uh, Skyping, or even uh, phone calls, okay? So you're going to be hit with a lot of communication coming through from other people. However, we have here the Ace of Swords, which is a very strong victory card, and this is also clear, concise communication, resolution, reaching some type of an, of an agreement, as well as new insights, new inspiration to be able to solve a solution. So this is a very good card when it comes to, you know, that one problem we've always had trouble with, or that one person that we have not been able to have some type of a communication breakthrough with. There's finally some type of a situation here that will bring about the breakthrough and uh, with the ace of swords it also indicates severance severing ourselves from a toxic situation as well for many of you we have here the um this is the devil and the devil usually indicates um cut some type of a bondage or a situation that we know is not healthy for us so cancers you guys are actually very very psychic okay especially for those cancer moons out there you guys are incredibly psychic you know when something is up you you can feel the rumblings on the uh in the earth whenever something is coming in as a warning sign you can also like you you guys are a very very good judge of character however you highly doubt your capabilities okay so i feel like there were situations that you knew there, there's more to the story or that somebody's not really telling you the whole truth or you might even feel like there's some hidden information that you need to ferret out 
and, or you might feel like there's a situation here where somebody is like purposely keeping you stuck. Um, I'm also seeing keeping you hostage, keeping you in bondage, and they're keeping you in this environment because in some way it benefits them. And I feel like in the past, you were definitely aware of this, but I, I don't feel like you were aware to what extent it affected you, okay? And coming into this month, you're realizing that it's a situation that you have total full control over and you can choose to leave at any time. But in the past, you might not have felt the need to, but this is the month in the month of April where you feel empowered to do so and you feel a lot more empowered to move away from it and to, you know, um, arrange and make, create your life in a way that will allow you to have more control over your environment, okay? And what I mean by this is I definitely see there has been some type of a long-standing financial situation that has kept you very stuck, okay? I don't see things on here that would indicate to me a financial lack. So I feel like, you know, finances looks really good. However, there might have been a job, page of pentacles, a learning environment, okay? A student, somebody who's trying to uh, level up, somebody who's trying to learn a specific skill, who's going to school, who's trying to graduate, who's trying to earn that degree, who's trying to earn that certificate because they truly, truly, truly believe that that piece of paper is really going to help secure their entire future, okay? And then the further you go along in this process, the more you realize that I'm stuck here for another year. I have to finish, you know, the bachelor's degree. I have to finish the master's degree. I have to finish this uh, certificate degree. And you might find yourself like in a situation where you have to take out student loans, for example. And you're just like, okay, that's fine. I, I, you rationalize it and you're saying to yourself, it's okay if I have to take out student loans because further down the line, once I get that diploma or that piece of paper, I'm going to be making a lot of money and I can pay it back in no time. But you're looking at the situation now and you're just like, is this the best opportunity? Is this the, the best opportune, uh, you know, is this the, the, um, the best route for me to take? So I do see a period where you are really reassessing how you feel about work, how you feel about money, how you feel about putting kind of like um, whatever you were doing all along, you felt like I can stick to it. Once I finish it, that's when life will really happen for me. And now what I'm sensing is you're thinking about taking a detour. You're thinking about taking a shortcut. You're thinking about potentially taking a, a, a quicker way out or a quicker way, like cut corners to get to your destination. And what I really want to say is I feel like the cards are telling you to, you know, be strong. Okay, we have the strength card. And literally it basically is telling you hang on for a little bit longer, okay? Don't take the shortcut, don't cut corners. Keep steady pace and, you know, trust that you are on the right path, okay? So don't be disillusioned. Don't think about worst case scenario. And especially if you've been working all this time really, really hard towards a specific goal, don't abandon things like midway, okay? Don't half-ass things. Do things thoroughly and do things completely because the reward is right around the corner for you. So I feel like they're they're really telling you maintain your steady progress and maintain your fixed course of action because I feel like there isn't a shortcut. There isn't a shortcut. There isn't this isn't the right time to cut corners and this is not the right situation for you to be cutting corners in. Um, I'm feeling as well for some of you there is a situation here where um, many of you might be thinking about shifting into a new work environment okay so like uh, wanting to take a a job that promises a lot more financial abundance 
Okay. And I keep seeing this. It's, it's almost like I have to feed my kids. So many of you might be expecting, many of you might have like a little one in the oven, you know, like uh, a baby on the way. And then many of you, there might be some changes to the financial arrangement when it comes to custody, when it comes to child support, when it comes to alimony. And as a result of that, you feel a, a compulsion or you feel like, and I, I heard this, so I'm just gonna say it. I'm the man in this relationship. I need to be t able to take care of my wife. I need to be able to take care of my kids. Or even if you're in same sex relationship, I'm the man in this relationship. I need to be able to take care of the people that I love. I need to be able to secure a future for me. I need to take care of my parents. And so I feel almost like there's this big fire lit under you where you feel almost like time is running out. I need to be making the big bucks. I need to be, you know, moving forward. I need to be even as accomplished as my partner. I need to be on their same level. So there might be somewhat of a disparity or even like, um, you might be comparing yourself to your partner who's either very, very, that, that you feel is very, very intelligent or very, very successful and you're, you're trying to catch up and you feel like time is running out. You feel like you both are not on the same playing field, like they're highly elevated and you feel like you need to catch up to their level, okay? And then for others of you, and I, I feel like for some of you, you might be dealing with a uh, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo and Capricorn energy comes out really strongly in this uh, reading as well, okay? So there's this uh, something lit from under you where you you feel like I need to take a, a huge you know bite out of life okay I can't sit on the sidelines anymore I need to get my career moving I need to get my life moving I need to create this you know larger than life reputation or larger than life stature or I need to make my life more extraordinary because I have people I need to impress I have people and things I need to take care of so I this is really good motivational energy okay but at the same time i feel like you have a lot on your plate right now and if you were to you know take a big chunk out of life it's almost like a warning to tell you you know don't bite off more than you could chew so that means don't overextend your time don't overextend your resources don't make promises that you can't keep and especially don't create a, a situation where you put so much expectation on yourself and then you end up beating yourself up over things like the little things or e even like you have such high expectation for yourself you're you're like i'm going to you know t take care of all of these 10 projects when realistically you only have time and energy and resources to finish five of them okay so there's definitely this um i don't know why strong sagittarian energy coming in where you feel like you can take on the world and the energy is great but i almost feel like you're sensing this internal time crunch within yourself where you're motivated and driven to achieve a lot in a very very short period of time which once again is a very strong motivational energy but let's make sure that our expectations and the reality of the environment that we work in all I guess like uh, the preconditions have to be met before we can realistically uh, move ahead with something or we need to be very realistic when we lay out a blueprint or a game plan for ourselves okay so don't bite off more than you could chew is um, the, the the big mantra here okay um, the last thing that I'm seeing in the spread is um, they're saying here there is a job where there are many many competitors okay so we have here the seven of rods and this is what I'm seeing ace of pentacles new work new income generating opportunity a new revenue stream for those of you who are just like thinking about self-employment as well we have here the seven of rods and the seven of rods is you know um, 
things coming at you very, very fast, okay? It could even be communication coming at you very fast, opportunities coming at you at lightning speed, and you're going to have to tackle these things one at a time. Um, if you have been looking for work for quite some time and they haven't really responded to you and you're waiting and waiting and wondering and you know you're gonna be mired in the worst case scenario did they hire somebody else am I not qualified why aren't they getting back to me I feel like the month of April if you have been sending out job resumes God forbid if you have been especially during the mercury retrograde period I'm glad that they didn't contact you because interviewing during Mercury retrograde period, those don't work out really well, okay? That's when communication goes awry and that's when, you know, mixed messages um, tend to be misinterpreted or, or, or things get in, misinterpreted or messages get lost, okay? Um, and I feel like the jobs that are offered during Mercury and retrograde, the um, whatever salary they promise you, it might be rescinded at after we roll out uh, out of Mercury retrograde. So if you've been sending a lot of job applications, if you've been trying to fa find new work, I feel like the month of April is when it actually comes into the picture for you. You're going to hear some really, really good news about the work situation if you're looking for work. And then I also feel like there might be, some of you might be called in for a, um, second or a third round of interview there might even be a panel interview you have a lot of people that are applying for the same jobs i just want you to be made aware of that so it's really pertinent that you really market yourself hype up your skills brag about yourself a little bit and don't downplay your skills okay um and this is like I'm just giving advice here because this is probably the best um, interviewing advice that somebody has once given me. When they call you for an interview, they've already reviewed your resume, they've already reviewed your qualifications. They wouldn't call you unless they know that you're qualified, okay? So rather than taking on this energy during the, the job interview, where you're very succinct, where you are uh, hyping up your skills, where you are very rational and very cerebral. You want to err on the side of being, of showing your leadership skills, showing the people that are interviewing you, times where you actually took initiative, times where you got projects moving, where you got things started, where you became like a leader in your field, where you can work without, you know, anybody uh, looking over your shoulders. So I feel like the job, for whatever reason, they really want you to highlight your leadership capabilities, okay? It's not just the ability to answer the questions in a very dry manner. It's the ability to synthesize and, and um, talk about all of your previous job experience and how your skills are transferable based on every, all the jobs, all the odd jobs that you've worked, what you've learned, and how your skills are now transferable into this new work environment. So if you're able to do that, you're going to really stand out from amongst all the other candidates and they're really going to want you on board, okay? But I feel like you have a lot of success here. So for those looking for work, this is a really good month to be making a huge impact, okay, to prospective employers. Um, and so what I feel here is, you know, really take it easy this month and hold, like, narrow down your energy narrow down your scope of focus and like I mentioned before focusing on the people that really matter to you because I definitely feel relationships needing a little bit more of a touch-up okay um, if you feel estranged from another person in particular you also need to make the time to be emotionally available to them because I feel like uh, there is an est estrangement, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And then I also feel like um, there's a lot of communication coming through, especially on the work front. For those who are single, there's also a lot of communication coming through. And then I also feel like, you know, new prospective dating partners as well. Um, just make sure that you don't over like you, you don't um, 
get involved with too many engagements or too many appointments that you can't keep and that you are realistic with yourself and your expectations, okay? Money, work, finances looks really good. And I especially feel like a lot of new opportunities made available for you for this month. So make the most of it, all right? So Cancers, um, I hope the reading is helpful for you. And um, if you're looking for a reader, I have included a link in the description um, box below for a psychic. Her name is Bridget. She is based out of California. She is phenomenal. And if you're looking for, you know, spiritual guidance, or if you know someone who's looking for spiritual guidance, I highly recommend that you book a reading with her. Um, best of luck with everything. I will see you guys in about two weeks time. Take care.